kick off with our first guest. He left school to play for Hearts, has scored 30 times, played for Scotland, and is now scouring the country to find the top, top team in hey. 2K. Welcome to the G-Spot, George Wright. Hey. There you go, George. You now, lucky, lucky boy. I am. I am. Now, yeah, right. what an awful job that is, then. It's tough, it's tough, but I, I think I cope with it okay. You know, I don't know which is a bit more nervous, having all these girls kind of ripping your gear off. Or, I'm uh... sure you're used to it, though. I mean, do, do, they really? try to, <laughs> do they try to bribe you to win and think that you might have some influence with the judges? They do. I mean, I've got no influence and they do do that, but uh, what, obviously what, you don't tell them that. You know, you do, you <laughs> what kind of things do they offer you? What do they offer me? Um, well, they do have a wee slot where they have to come and give you a bit of chat, their best chat lines and things like that. So um, that's their opportunity to sell themselves to me. What about off camera, though? Mm. Off camera? Well, that should remain off camera, actually. <laughs> we know it goes on, George. Do you? Why, well, are you going to show something now? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just pissed off I didn't get your job. <laughs> <laughs> you never know if they bring out again, you might. <laughs> but what you're series. doing, you're going around the country, aren't you, searching for yeah, the we are. Millennium Scorcher. Yeah, we're looking for the sort of girl of the, the 90s or whatever, and uh, yeah, they get a series of tests, they've got of their bodies, and looks, a little bit chat it's about a bit them. a bit more than that, something about downing a pint of lager and... Yeah, it's like all these uh, ladettes are doing all these things now. Ulrika Johnson and all these ones, you, you know, drink the Pint, so uh, the girls do that. A few of them manage it, showing, showing their swallowing technique, and that's the theory behind it. Absolutely. Sadly, Swallow it's beer. I think, we've beer. Got, I think we've got a little clip of that, haven't we? Have we? Go on. I think so. <laughs> Come on then, Deborah. If I was in a nightclub, what would you say to me? Well, George, I've written you a little poem, and it goes like this. You're cool, sophisticated, and somewhat smart. You've got that thing that makes my legs want to part. The word for tonight is legs, so let's spread the word. I know you want me, because I'm a top bird. Here's 10p, go and phone your mum. I'll take you home, and I'll make you call me love. Oh, that's perfect timing. 30 seconds and a quick change for uh, George. I know what would look good on you. Me. Okay, Emma. Talk to me. Well, hello, George. I don't hello, usually Emma. do chat up lines. I like to get straight to the point, literally. Okay, which point, uh, did I say it, <laughs> is that? <laughs> Use your imagination. Before you start, double X are allowed. Okay. Do you want to see my pussy, Pat? <laughs> of course I do, yeah. <laughs> It's really wild, it's not been tamed yet. And I think you're the man for the job. <laughs> I bet I'm you a taxidermist, really... I only stuff them. Really? So you do all the talking with your hands. Yes. Do you use anything else? My piercings. Have you got a final word for me? Pardon? Have you got a final word for me? A final word? Yeah. Take me home. I've just shot my pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. That, that show looks disgraceful, don't you? I think it's demeaning to women, don't it's you, Danny? It's a lot of self-control. I'm just disappointed I wasn't invited on. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not finished yet. Oh, There's still to, another one or two to go. <laughs> Would you like to looks see my familiar. pussy cat? That's a classic. It yeah. is a tough job, though, but somebody's got to do it, George. It is tough, it is tough. No, it's a good one. And I'm hoping that they bring out more of those, cos uh, it's good fun. And in, and your, sure and in your football career, you only scored 30 times. Well, hey! well, I was a uh, defender. I mean, you know, it's like defenders. I don't I'd really... rather be a sucker, I tell you. Yeah, yeah. And so would I when you slow, look at that slow record. To get, slow to get in the box and not really going to get on the end of anything, are they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, my, scoring, my scoring record is a bit more impressive in other areas, not in football. Well, we're well, better it is, because, uh, because I've heard that he's a very popular lad, actually. Apparently so. Really? We'll get into that a bit later on. 